rotisserie? Yeah, it's been ages since I've done anything. Well, here's the new plan. All right, this is how it's going to go. This bar is going to be going across, and it's going to be mounted where the frame mounts are. And then this, these are, uh, I'll call them rails, so I can adjust it. So I can adjust it from that position to this position to whatever. So this will be fixed. This will be, I'll be able to move this up and down these rails. Let me show you what I got. All right, picture if you will. Here's the bottom. Frame mount, frame mount, bolts going through. This is going to be all welded together. This has a sleeve on it right now. I'm trying to get extra thickness. There's going to be a bolt going through here all the way through. It's going to be welded up. It's going to be nice and strong. Going on up, this part, I'm going to make a uh, mount so it's adjustable. So these are the rails. It's going to ride up back and forth wherever I need to adjust it so the car maintains its uh, level so it's easy to rotate. Anyway, so let me get started. All right, there it is. It's not welded together. I just cut the sleeves. Pretend that in there. This is going to be the sleeves that these are going to ride up and down on. There's going to be a bolt here and a bolt here. So I'm going to move it up and down. Those will be holes every two inches. So I'll have a two inch adjustment for the whole thing. So I think it'll work out. I'm not going to have to adjust it more than you know, maybe two or four inches. But that's what it's going to look like. I'm going to go ahead and tack it together. Bar going across. It's bolted here and over here. And it's barely tack welded right now right there. And then this is a section right here. It'll be able to move up and down like an elevator uh, when I need it to when I find the right spot to rotate the car, I'll go ahead and tighten down the bolts because I'm going to have a hole right here and right here. And I tighten them down, then it'll hold the car. Um, I'm basing this off of uh, Rare Rat's front um, rotisserie mount. This is pretty close to what he has, and I think it's going to work. So let's keep going. Hey, here's another update. Um, this is, uh, locks in with your uh, bolts. I put two bolts right there. Through all the way through. So it goes all the way through. And then I welded the nut on the other side. It's all welded up around and all that. So I don't think that's going to fall apart or anything. And as you can see, here's the uh, slide going up and down. I'm still working on that piece over here. Over here. As it slides up as it slides up and down, there's bolts in here that will go through and push against these rails. I'm not going to put holes in them. Uh, I was looking at rare rats and all he does is ha he has a bolt going through and he welded it to the, the nut to it. It just tightens it down. But I'm doing four, so there's going to be two, two here and two there. They're going to be offset. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to work out. Okay, here's another update. Uh, I'm like pretty sure I'm done with this thing. This is the apparatus for the front of the rotisserie. These rebarbs are actually brakes. So if the rotisserie is at this position, and held in by these bolts just tightening in all four these will act as brakes if for some reason they fail this will stop it and I know it'll wreck it and bend and all that but it's safety and I don't want to be underneath the car when it falls <laughs> okay next thing on the agenda uh, look at the base the base is only like two and a half it's not even three foot long so I want to extend the base so I gotta make some legs. I already started over here, put two holes in there, and I'm gonna have one by one by fours. Okay, there's the extended legs for the base. So you'll be able to pull out the bolt on the right, 
on the outside and it'll just fold fold up when you don't need them out and then just pop it down throw the bolt in and be good to go all right i'm think i'm done there it is from top to bottom and that's both of them there's with the legs out uh you can see that i'll have right there there'll be two bolts holding it down with the lock it down otherwise Right now I could just lift it up and push it up, just like I did over here on this one. Goes back and forth, fold it down, you can lock it down. This moves pretty freely. Back and forth, which is great. Now I know I'm looking at it and I was like, God, that's so high. But you gotta remember, right here and here are gonna be here and here so the car is going to be up kind of high but it's one of the reasons is so it can clear the base of the rotisserie now I might have made it too high but what I could do is unbolt these cut off more stick it back in and then adjust it based on what I find do I want to put the car up and down? No. I don't know if you can see the whole thing. How's that? It's a little better. Anyways, that's it. Ignore the stuff in the background. It's a total mess back there. I should paint this. I've already guessed fluorescent green is pretty much my favorite color. So next time, um, big question is, how do I get the car up on this apparatus? That is a big question. Something to think about. So go ahead and hit the like button, uh, comment, and I will see you guys later.